My name is Brock Page and welcome to Throwing Darts. We have some NFL Week 1 opening lines already. How the hell does that happen? How does Vegas do it? Well, I really don't care. I'm talking about football in June and I'm talking about the Kansas City Chiefs plus 7 at New England with the total at an even 48 points. The Patriots are the money line favorites laying 357. That's a Thursday night game at Gillette Stadium. First NFL game of the year, 8.30 kickoff, Eastern Standard Time, September 7th. Some books already have some line movement in that one. Looks like the money's on the pats to cover. Also looks like the summer money's coming in on the over. A lot of folks getting those bets in early. But anyway, we're going to slide into our next game. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the Sunday games, September 10th, 2017. Uh, my actual birthday, so uh, happy birthday to me. We'll start out with the early 1 o'clock games. I'm talking about the New York Jets plus 6 at Buffalo with the total at 42 and a half. Currently, Buffalo is laying 275 on the money line. And at the moment, the money's pouring in on Buffalo to cover in that one. We also have ourselves some NFC action. The Super Bowl runner-up Atlanta Falcons minus 6.5 at Chicago with a total at 50.5 points. The Falcons are laying 300 on the money line. Looks like a good amount of money's coming in on Atlanta to get the job done. They opened up at just 240 on the money line. I'd be more concerned with the spread in this one. So far, I'd have to say the Falcons laying 6.5 is an excellent proposition in this game. All right, moving on, we have ourselves a divisional game in week one already. Actually, we have ourselves a couple. But in this one, I'm talking about Baltimore plus one and a half at Cincinnati with the total at an even 43 points. Currently, the Bengals are laying $1.25 on the money line. And at the moment, the majority of the money has been on Cincy to get the job done against the spread. All right, our next game. It's another divisional matchup. We got ourselves uh, another one in the AFC North. I'm going to try to get my money in as soon as possible on this one. I'm talking about Pittsburgh minus 9.5 at Cleveland with the total at 47.5 points. Currently, Pittsburgh's laying 420 on the money line. And at the moment, the money's actually been coming in on Cleveland to get the job done. The money line actually opened up at 500 and has dropped down to 420 so far. I cannot get my bets in fast enough on that one there. Speaking of bets... The betting in our next game opened up with Arizona, plus 2.5 at Detroit, with a total at 49 points. Currently, Detroit's $1.36 on the money line, and at the moment, the majority of the money's coming in on the under in this one thus far. All right, our next game, we are talking uh, about the under, and we got ourselves a potential defensive struggle in our next matchup. I'm talking about Jacksonville, plus 4.5 at Houston with the total at an even 42. Currently Houston's laying two bucks on the money line and at the moment the majority of the cash is coming in on the Jags to get the job done against the spread. Will be interesting to see who's playing quarterback for Coach O'Brien in this matchup there. And that's going to take us into our eighth and final opening line for the show. I'm talking about a flashy battle in Miami between two Florida teams. We have ourselves the Tampa Bay Buccaneers plus two and a half at the Dolphins with a total at 47 and a half points. Currently, the Finns are the money line favorites at a buck 23. And at the moment, the majority of the cash has been coming in on the Tampa Bay Bucks to get the job done against the spread. Should be interesting. Once again, I was pleasantly surprised to see that there were lines out already for week one in the NFL. Well, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Productions, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.